She has to greet the master two hours earlier every day and hold the freshest roses. And just because she was a few minutes late, the rich man took away the flowers to punish the girl. He took her to a cemetery dozens of kilometers away and then made her walk back to the mansion while Mike drove the limousine. Behind her in his limousine, staring coldly at her, it took five hours to get back to the mansion. No time to rest. Mary was called by the butler again. She was ordered to clean up Mike's study, but the intensity of the work. Mary was inevitably exhausted. She looked out the window. When will true freedom come? Just as the maid came into the room. Although the Mac family was aloof, but the maids were very united. She knew Mary hadn't been resting well lately. She told her to find a place to sleep in secret. She was given the cleaning job, but to avoid unnecessary trouble, Mary could only insist on it. While they were chatting, Mary took a turn for the worse to talk to the woman about Mike's father, asking what kind of man he was. This makes the maid wonder why suddenly mention the dead old rich man. Mary's excuse is to see a group photo that is why some curiosity. But judging from Mary's expression, I'm afraid this is not so simple. It turns out that last night Mary was dragged to the cemetery. Just after dawn, a mysterious old man appeared. She took a good look. It was Mike's father in the photo. Mary subconsciously called out the old rich man's name. Now the man was a bit confused. He didn't expect to meet the family's maid, but he quickly recovered. Then he said in a pleading tone, don't tell anyone that he is still alive. Seeing Mary's hesitation, and Mike was already in the neighborhood, there was no time to think. The rich man agreed to meet at 3 p.m. He'll tell Mary everything. Just help him save his life now. And then he turned around and left. The innocent Mary didn't think much of it and did not tell Mike about it. So that's why she asked the maid about the old rich man. But at that moment, Mike suddenly came to the door. He heard them talking about their dead father. Mike instantly became grim. He sent the maid away first. Then he slowly approached Mary. You have no right to talk about my father. Remember, you're just a slave. If I ever catch you talking about my family again, I will not let you off lightly. And Mary was still hesitant whether to tell Mike the truth. The old rich man was still alive. From the servants, Mary learned that, although Mike was indifferent to others, but he always had a knot in his heart. He even kept all the toys from his childhood. Mike was just eight years old at the time, and his father was too busy working all day. He didn't have time to spend with him. When he was leaving, Rich was still reassuring that he would come back after the meeting to be with him. Little did he know that this separation would be the last time he would see his father. But for the young boy, father's love was very important. He spent the whole day in the yard to guard, hoping to see his father's return. But many days passed in a row. And then, he heard from his mother, tell Mike not to wait. The rich man had died in an accident. This incident was a big blow to Mike. He will never forget how to survive all these years. Since then, Mike took his family very seriously and never doubted what his mother said. Always thought his father was long dead. Apparently, the old rich man had a big secret, but he didn't expect to get Mary involved. It's almost time for the appointment. Mary planned to meet with the rich man first and then tell Mike about it. And as promised, Rich showed up in the garden on time. Just as they were about to speak, the butler at the mansion suddenly mentioned Mary hadn't seen anyone for half an hour. What a coincidence. Mike overheard this. He was worried that Mary had disappeared again. He was about to go out to look for her when he ran into Ruth. He asks his mother if she's seen Mary. Ruth already has a strong opinion of Mary. The last time she told the housekeeper to get rid of Mary, she made Mike unhappy. Thinking about it, she said in a sly voice, since when is a housekeeper so important? Do I have to keep an eye on her for you? But Mike wasn't going to reveal Mary's true identity, and he didn't bother to argue with Ruth. Then he walked out of the mansion, and he saw Mary's figure, but there was another person next to her, and the two of them don't even notice. Mary asked why she hadn't met her family, but there seems to be a big hidden agenda here. The rich man kept repeating that he was sorry for his son, but not yet. Somehow he has a great deal of trust in Mary. Just as he's about to say why, Mike was slowly approaching. Then he saw the familiar face. It was his father, who had died long ago. Now Mike was completely baffled.